So I want to give a shout out to Isaiah on Instagram. He uh, hit me up in DMs, letting me know uh, what was going down on SmackDown, apparently. What's about to happen for WrestleMania Backlash. Uh, he hit me up. He was saying, hey, they've canceled the unification match. I was like, uh, what are you talking about? Like, that's a marquee match. The unification of the tag titles, that's, that's a marquee match. I don't think they would cancel that for Backlash. And he was like, no, they definitely canceled it. And he shows me this image on uh, WWE's official Instagram of the pretty much probably the main event for WrestleMania Backlash. Drew McIntyre teaming up with RK Bro versus Roman Reigns and the Usos. Six man tag. So, originally I was going to check out the segment, the contract signing segment on camera, but I decided to check it off camera because. Once I found this information out and I went to YouTube to see what was going on, um, I knew I my mood was going to change. It wasn't going to be as excited as I was before. I just wanted to see how did they come from having this match to the contract signing to not having the match. And apparently they were, they signing the contracts or whatever. Uh, Randy Orton. Uh, pretty much disrespects the Usos in the bloodline. And they get into a brawl. Then Roman Reigns come out there, obviously, to, uh, I guess you could say, equal the playing field or, you know, put the put the odds in the, the bloodline's favor, of course. Boys start getting beat up. Matt Riddle is getting, getting attacked, you know, three-on-one pretty much mugging a brawl. Uh, and, um, apparently Roman Reigns rips up the damn contract and stuffs it in Matt Riddle's mouth. And then Drew McIntyre comes out there to, for the save and, uh, you know, him and, uh, Roman Reigns have that stare down and they start throwing blows and then Roman Reigns gets out the ring and, you know, you know how that goes. The invisible wall is there between the ramp and the ring and no one can attack each other between the ropes because... That's you can't do that. The segment was cool. I knew Drew was gonna be incorporated in feuding with Roman at some point. It was it was gonna happen. They've been teasing it, they've been building up to it. It was it was gonna happen. It's that's that's probably gonna be his next opponent for the uh championships. Is Drew McIntyre. Which it is what it is. I don't have a problem with that. My whole thing. They have been building up this unification match for weeks only to throw it away for a six-man tag. Will the match be good? Probably so. That match will probably be entertaining as hell. But does it just take away everything that people have been talking about for weeks? For me personally, yes. Like, what, Then what was the point? Tell me, WWE. What was the point of even doing that? You could have had a six-man tag if you wanted to. Just off the strength. You could have just did that from the jump. You could have found a way to do that. Like, what was... Some of you may think, oh, it's not that big of a deal. They didn't need to unify the tag teams. I think, personally, they did. In my opinion. I just... There's not enough tag teams on both shows, bro. There's not. Unless you guys are cool with seeing the same matches over and over and over with the tag team division. I would like for them, whoever wins the belts, the unified belts, to float between both shows. And still, people will still have an opportunity to be on the show. It, at the end of the day, it's all about winning tag team gold. And when you have a lot of tag teams, you can still build up some feuds between tag teams that don't involve the gold. You can build up some tournaments, whatever, but you don't have enough tag teams for both shows. You just don't. Not right now. Back then, you did. Back then, in the Ruthless Aggression era, you could do two different tag teams because you had a decent amount. And let's be honest here. They don't really promote their tag team division like that outside of the Usos. 
How many times have we seen the Viking Raiders get eviscerated? How many times have we seen uh, the Street Profits lose? How many times have we seen the Dirty Dogs? They're barely even a tag team. Dolph was over there winning NXT championships, so they weren't really on the main roster for any type of tag team action. American Alpha, or, or uh, the uh, what? Not American Alpha. Uh, that was a su much superior tag team. Uh, what's the tag team they have with Chad Gable? Alpha Academy. These are teams that people I can't take seriously. It's not that many. And then the New Day. How many times have we seen the Usos versus the New Day? RK Bro is pretty cool. It's really RK Bro and the Usos that are really holding it down for the tag team divisions. Everybody else is kind of. You don't take them seriously. But at least if you unify the divisions, you could possibly get some fresh matchups and maybe other teams will start getting more shine and you can take them more seriously. I'm just, I just don't get it. Weeks they've been building this shit up just to say, oh, we're going to put on a six-man tag. That is lazy booking, bro. T someone just tell me what was the point of even bringing up unifying what was the point because in my head the visual would have looked like the usos having both the straps roman having both the straps the bloodline has all the gold that would have been the visual and then maybe they could have came up with a new belt design i just don't get it i just when they bring up unifications there's no point of bringing it up because if you want to be honest the main championship, the World Heavyweight Championships, they're not unified. He just has both the belts. I'm telling you. At some point, he's going to probably drop the WWE belt, WWE Championship, and it's going to go back on Monday Night Raw. I'm t so it was really no point. If you're going to unify, you're going to have one belt that floats between both brands. We knew that wasn't going to happen. I don't even, that, I don't, there's no point of calling it a unification belt. It's still two separate belts. The same thing with the titles. I'm thinking they're going to get rid of the goddamn quarter belts because that's what they look like. Color-coordinated quarters. They don't look like championship belts. The tag team belts don't look good. They just have a blue strap and a red strap and a quarter in the middle. I'm thinking, oh, we're going to get a new championship? Nope. Nope. We're going to settle for a six-man tag. Why can't someone come up with another contract? Since he stuffed the last one, Roman stuffed the last one down uh, Matt Riddle's throat. Come up with another contract. Sign it. Then I'm done. That's why I didn't react to this clip. It was going to take me out. The, the clip itself, the whole segment itself was cool. I just could not react to it. After knowing what I knew afterwards, I was like, nah, I'm not about to react to this. Not on camera. I just, I'm not about to fake this reaction because I was already like, I was disappointed. I, I just I just don't get it, bro. I just that waste it was just a waste of all our time. Don't sit up there and promise a unification match only to the week before. Cause I believe uh WrestleMania Backlash is uh I wanna say next week or something, week after next, I don't know. It's it's relatively soon. And this is what you do. This close to the show? No, actually, the go-home show is this coming Monday. So, yeah, it's, it's next week of, of, of me filming this. Then what's the... All right, man. I'm done. Comment down below. Let me know. Am I tripping? Or does this not make a lick of sense? For them to just do this. What was the point? A am I tripping? Let me know. If you guys think I'm, I'm overreacting here, comment down below. Let me know. But I, I just feel like I can't be the only one that don't see how dumb this is. It's just a wait. They literally wasted our time. Will the match be entertaining? Yes, it will be at WrestleMania Backlash. The six-man tag will be just pure fun. I'm willing to bet. But outside of that, did it make any sense for us to even get hyped up for this unification match that's my only question i appreciate all love and support road to 80k appreciate y'all kicking with me i see y'all next one